Hello everybody, so welcome back to my video. Today we'll be creating weight maps for this character and as you can see, I've created a couple of weight maps. We've got all these here, the head, the arms, the legs and so on. Don't forget to like, subscribe and without wasting any time, let's jump right in. Now to create weight maps. So what we're going to do is, first things first, Let's remove this skeleton, select it, push the closing bracket and cut Control X on the keyboard, go into the second layer and paste it. Let's go back to the first layer so we can save this. So I'll start with the eyes. So what I'll do is I'll select this eye, push the closing bracket. Down here where it's written W, you actually click here in the corner, say new, and then we'll call this the left left eye. Then I'll say create. So it will tell down here that it's created a new weight map, but you can't see it until you change on top here where it's written texture to weight shed. So wherever it's red. It's actually a weight map. I'll deselect this one, push the question mark, then select another eye. I'll just change this side and type right. So right eye, then I'll say create. And it's created the weight map here. So I want to create a weight map for the head as well. What I'll do is I'll select these two, these two push the closing bracket, push the minus sign on the keyboard to hide the eyes, zoom out, select the whole head from the neck and to expand our selection actually hold down shift and the closing bracket, push it like twice and I'll create, deselect. So to bring back everything on the keyboard, just push the slash button on the keyboard and everything comes back all right for the hands so i'll select the hand so this is like the left hand and i'll expand my selection to you somewhere here to somewhere there and say left so I'll say arm and I'll say create. So I'm still here, the closing bracket and select the other side as well. Expand my selection and I'll just change this to right. Say create and let's go to the legs. So for the right leg, I'll just start selecting from here and let me expand my selection all right to somewhere here to somewhere here all right to somewhere here and I'll call this leg Create. Uh oh, I think there's a part that I actually missed out. Okay, so let me just recreate this part again from here. This whole part. I'll call this the leg. This whole part. All right, and I'll say create. So it will add. So. I'll zoom out, question mark to deselect, go back for the leg and select this whole part, expand your selection, and we'll call this one left leg, and we'll create. We also need to create the torso. So I'll select all these here. Okay. 
I'll call all this as torso and create deselect for the other detailed parts like the the hands the fingers you can actually go in for tutorial purposes I'll actually leave it out sorry but you can actually select the fingers one by one naming them index finger and so on pinky till you're done so I'll create this after this for the sake of the video not being too long um, which other part have I left out for now this is like the basic so I'll go to the bones while seeing my other layer on the other side I'll, I'll come here we'll start with the eyes so we need to assign the bones tell them which bone moves which part so we'll select this this bone come here set up so on more here more again set skeleton weight so you tell you tell it which weight map it should move so i want the weight map for this bone should be the left eye say okay deselect that for the other bone come back more select set skeleton weight that is the left or uh, the right eye say okay then for the head i'll select these and i'll say set skeleton weight and i'll put this for the head for the hands so for now since i did not put the parts for the fingers if we had uh, weight maps for the fingers you would select these and assign to the fingers but since we don't have those I'll just select all these here. Oops, let me go back to deselect and all right. So I'll include this bone as well. So I'll select this set skeleton weight, and this is the left arm. Say okay, deselect, select the other side. So this is the right arm say okay we we'll go to the legs remember to save for the legs I'll select from here all the way down here set skeleton weight this is the left leg say okay select and the other one set as the right leg say okay select and the only ones remaining are the ones in the middle so I'll select all these here all these here and I'll assign these to the torso Say okay, save. I'll select everything. I'll select all the bones, cut, and then move them to this layer and save. So I'll push A to fit everything. I'll send it to layout. All right, so here in layout, you come down or you come up here to setup and add bones, convert skeletons into bones. So now, the problem that we had yesterday was when we move, say we move the eye, the whole face would shift. If I select this bone and I rotate it, only the eye should move. And that has happened. So which means it's a success. So you can just go through, check the other bones.
so like you've noticed if you don't like the way this thing is deforming you can actually go back and make sure it deforms from somewhere like here i'll just go back and fix it so i'll change back here to let's say left left leg and i'll select this part and i will say come back here to map set map value and i'll bring it to i'll say zero same thing with the other side okay i'll just select this whole part here same thing with the right leg i also set map and i'll say zero i'll come to the torso and i'll select i'll say set map then i'll put it at 100. so now the torso is the one the torso is the part that actually controls this area here not the legs so if i save this and then send it again set up and convert my skeletons into bones all right so now if i actually rotate this bone yeah it should deform from there which is, which looks more natural all right so for the sake of everybody else who's been watching uh we were setting up the eyes last time so we can actually do that real quick and we can actually save this as uh say i call her mother then i'll call this a default default just like that mother default and says and i'll save so i can actually set up a proper rig for this push f3 on the keyboard and we can set up the eye control now object so for everybody who didn't see who didn't see the video that i actually made for making the eye target you can go back check my videos and you actually see there are two methods of uh, setting up your eye target and you can actually come back because i won't explain much on this all right so if we set up our eye control just save uh, motion options and target i'll change this to eye target console the other one motion options target and eye target save yes so now we have a rig that actually has an eye target and the bones work properly so if i move this as you can see let me just get closer so that you can see if i move this the eyes are able to move now thank you for watching i appreciate everybody who's been watching and please like subscribe and I'll see you in my next video that I'll post tomorrow and bye bye.